everybody, Light Star here, and I'm here to talk to you about my Magical Dimensions Oracle and Activator cards. Now these cards are super exciting and very magical, so I wanted to share uh, more about them. I uh, wanted to share with you how the cards uh, are created and why they're created and how you can use them and why they're a uh, bit different than some of the cards you see on the market today just for oracle cards. They're much more than that. So um, first of all I wanted to share a little bit about why I created these cards and how they came to be. Um, I'm a, a visual attunement artist and I work with very high frequencies and that's what comes through in my artwork and it's very enchanting, um, very magical, and I work with the, the beings of, you know, the angelics, the elementals, the galactic beings, and star friends, and they all come to me and create, uh, help me to create these beautiful images. And I've actually been creating these images for quite some time, and as I was creating the images, I knew that they were always going to be, at some point, and at some level, in a oracle card because they were naturally, the, the messages were naturally channeling and um, channeled through and they were really high level uh, messages for specific things. Each image had a very specific purpose and it really came, became more and more clear to me that I really needed to do an oracle card deck. So, but I also really wanted to create them because I wanted to help people to build their psychic muscle and intuitive uh, vision so that they could um, use that in their own lives and create transformations. And so that's what I really wanted to do in the intention behind the cards. So they're very high frequency, they're full of color and light and activations. I'm going to tell you that these cards are, you can use them for oracle readings, of course, that's what they're for, but they also can be used as activators. And I'll explain more about that and how you can use them for those purposes and get the, the most impact um, as well. So let me show you the cards first, okay? This is the exciting part. Is I'm going to show you a few of them. Um, this is one of them, which is called Destiny. And it's actually, um, you can see it, it's actually a, has every single card has a beautiful image. It's got one word that uh, sums up the image and three words underneath it that will also assist you in uh, learning the interpretation or to interpret um, your reading, your card layout. So every single card has um, different purpose, a different um, expression, and a different message. And the intentions behind these cards are to assist you and to empower you to make choices and they help you to make your own choices as well. And they just really help you to see the uh, energies behind whatever it is that you're asking of them. And this one is called Majest uh, Majestic Eminence. And like I said, they all have different color schemes, um, beautiful representations. They're all uh, images that have been in my art. There's either the whole art piece or part of, uh, part of the art uh, piece in them and they're very, very high frequency. Now the back has a very specific, beautiful design. It's like a, a butterfly activation, as I call it. Butterfly is what? Transformation. And I wanted people to use the, the imagery of that, but it's got specific encodements in it, so every time you're looking at the cards, on the back side of the cards, which you'll do a lot if you're going to use them for oracle readings, um, you're going to be getting an activation every time you look at the cards. So, in this particular image. So, beautiful backside. Um, I have also created a guidebook, which is 127 pages. Um, it has just chock full of great information about this, this uh, deck and how to use it, how to cleanse the deck. So, I'm going to go through a little bit about what's included in the guidebook. Now, you can use the cards without the guidebook because a lot of you are, are masters and you know uh, and very intuitive and you just want to use a tool and you want to not even have anything to sway you from your own intuition by all means. Use that and you don't have to use the guidebook. But I created this for those that are 
uh, just starting out or they want to have a foundation or um, and they want to have that. So that's included in here. Um, first thing is I give a very overview of the energies that have come through the cards, which is going to be the angelic energy, the frequencies of the elementals, and the beautiful star beings and galactics. And I go through those just to explain them, to give you uh, that brief introduction of the frequencies of the cards. And then um, I will go through how to cleanse your cards. Now, honestly, you can cleanse your cards, however, and everyone has a different way. But I give some suggestions in here on how you can do that. And I also have something that I built into the packaging. Now, this is the box that it comes in. It is a two-part list-off box. And what you will see, you know, front and back, it plays a little bit on the back, but what you will see on the inside here is very unique. Now, inside on the top and the bottom lid of the box is a very specific cleansing symbol. Um, it's a really powerful encodement that when your cards are in the box, they will be continually cleaned and cleansed of um, all the muck, so to speak, of using them and energies that get um, imbued into the card. So you'll always have your cards clean. Now, you don't have to keep them in the box. A lot of people I know like to use a velvet bag or something like that to keep their cards in. And by all means, do that. But if you like to keep them in the box, this is a great way to do that because they'll always um, be refreshed and cleansed. And it's always a good idea to do your own cleansing um, with the cards, but this really helps. So I've added that uh, special feature into the box. It's kind of a unique uh, item here. Um, so let's, let me talk about a little bit more about what is in the booklet. So I first talked about there's an overview of all the energies, um, so you have a background. Uh, I also have included several layouts of how to do uh, oracle readings, in terms of layouts. Now, I give some suggestions in here, so, and some of them are unique. They're not your standard layouts. Um, I've got one in here called the half moon key formation, and one called the star key formation, and they're actually a little more complex. Um, they're more in depth, and they're super powerful. Um, but I also have some simple layouts as well for those that just want to pick a card or two, and they're, and they're kind of unique. Um, so that's included. And when we get to the point of using them for activators, which um, is really exciting way to use the cards in a different way. Now, what does it mean to use the cards as activators? Um, well, I actually provide a couple of different layouts in here uh, for you. And what's, there's three different starter layouts, and there's one that's called the Healthy Relationship uh, Activator. There's one that's called the money tree, because who doesn't want more money, right? And there's one that's the healing circle uh, activator. And all of these are, you know, they're very broad topics, but they're very prevalent to what most people are dealing with. Um, a lot of times, you know, any kind of healthy relationship, um, drawing and manifesting money and uh, abundance into their lives, and also healing for yourself and others. So there's some specific layouts for that, and this is where you would you would actually choose cards from the layout, uh, cards from the deck that I've already pre-assigned, and then you can add um, your own energies from the cards and build them in a layout. It's meant for an altar or a space, a table somewhere where you can um, activate them by adding crystals or candles or uh, other features to the layout and it will actually help to transform, it will shift the energy, it will work with your energy more to uh, give you a, a sort of a heightened activation, um, all different types of things that you can use them for. But that's where it's a, my card's a little unique because they have that dual, it's a multi-dimensional purpose. Um, so that's included in here. And if um, you want to use them or just use them on a daily basis for affirmations, you can do that. And every single card will have a picture of the card. They're all numbered um, on the top, and so they're very easy to find in the booklet. Just look for the number. And each card will have a picture of the card, and it will also have uh, the words that are on the card itself, 
and it will have an oracle interpretation, but it will also have a celestial interpretation. And there's two different takes on it, but it will assist you in uh, providing more information. I also list um, a companion crystals and a companion essential oil. Um, these are also frequencies that you can work with, and I talk about that in the book, where you can further enhance the experience of the deck by using crystals, by using essential oils, um, to use them in your activations and things like that for activator cards. These are very powerful and that combination that works together really well and they um, complement one another. So that's also listed in there, which is um, a really cool thing. And you can work with those energies um, that are listed as well. Um, you also will find uh, some just general information about um, the sacred color rays and you'll also find uh, I have seven different cards in the deck that are very unique to this is that they are the chakras and when I say the chakras um, I actually call them portals not chakras in the deck so they're all called portals and there's seven of them and they're going to be your basic you know your root portal which is you know the root chakra they're all related to the chakra system we have the solar portal we have the heart portal, we have the third eye portal, you may not be in order at the moment, but sacred, uh, sacral portal, and the throat portal, and the crown portal. And they all work together, and you can use these cards to activate yourself, to cleanse yourself, use them as chakra healings. Um, you can use them as activators, as I said before. If you have clients, you can put them out on the client uh, table, on a table, if you're using a massage table to try to heal your clients. You can help. Again, there's so many uses for these. And, um, and when you use them as activator cards, there are also some other suggestions I've given in the booklet about how to use them for those uh, other activational purposes, such as putting them under your pillow at night, um, working with one card energy. Um, you can actually laminate one of the cards if you like, and you can put your water on top of it, and it will actually help to restructure and re-energize your water. Um, whatever the frequency is, it might be um, you choose one of the cards to help you uh, remove blockages, and you can actually put your water on top of that. You can also um, put your vitamin supplements on top of it and energize that. You can put your jewelry on top. Uh, so many different things you can do with this card, with these cards. And I've given some of those examples in this booklet, and this all comes as a package together. So I'm um, really excited for you all to try out the cards and to start working with their energies, start receiving the activations, um, really start getting your hands dirty with these because they love to be used. Um, in the fashion that will help you um, in your spiritual development. Uh, the more you work with the cards, the stronger they become um, aligned with your energy, and the more they will work with you, and the more uh, transformations and activations you will actually receive. So anyway, you can find my, my uh, Magical Dimensions Oracle and Activator cards on my website at Lightstar Creations. Dot com. So go check it out. If you have any questions, um, let me know. You can contact me. And I'd love to also hear your feedback on them. I have some great reviews on the cards from some people that have been using them, which have been saying they've been scary accurate is the term that I hear the most about these cards. And uh, so we like that. So go check them out. And um, they're just they're here for activating you to your higher purpose, activating you to higher intuition and psychic abilities, opening up those abilities, unblocking you from whatever's uh, holding you back, and to assist you in um, using them as the activator cards. So blessings and um, angelic blessings as well, and uh, we'll look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks a lot. Blessings and namaste.